Uh, back in October, October uh, 27th, I think, uh, last year, we had a young man, David Steinberg, on the show who did a sermonette along with the New Day Singers, a, a, a Jesuit uh, seminary group. And we had a great deal of uh, problems from that uh, telecast, and uh, it was all intended and fun. But we have Mr. Steinberg back with us again. We think he's one of the truly fine comedians and uh, writers in the business. And he's going to do now a, another sermonette. Now, we don't want to offend anybody out there, but uh, if you get offended, that's, that's the way the cookie crumbles. No. <laughs> Very talented man with his sermon, Mr. David Steinberg. Will the congregation please be seated for this evening's sermon? Tonight's sermon deals with the exciting personalities of Solomon Lot and Jonah, all of whom had a wonderful rapport with God, whom I'm sure you'll all remember from last week's sermon. <laughs> when Solomon was appointed king, God appeared to him in a dream and said, Solomon, now that you're king, you can have anything that your heart desires. Solomon said, oh, God, grant me wisdom that I might be the wisest king of all. And God gave Solomon his anthropomorphic zap. <laughs> Solomon became all wise and knowing, and at that moment he knew he should have asked for money. <laughs> Jonah, God said to Jonah, go on to the king of Nineveh and tell him that he has sinned. Jonah said, I have a feeling he knows. <laughs> And Jonah ran away from the face of God. Instead of going to Nineveh, he went to Tarshish. Nineveh was that way, towards Wilshire Boulevard. <laughs> and he went to Tarshish, which was that way. He got into a ship that was commandeered by 23 Gentiles. <laughs> a bad move on Jonah's part. <laughs> and the Gentiles, as they want from time to time, threw the Jew overboard. <laughs> now here there are two concepts that we must deal with. There is the New Testament concept and the Old Testament concept. The Old Testament scholars say that Jonah was in fact swallowed by a whale. The Gentiles, the New Testament scholars, they say, uh, hold it, Jews. No, Jonah was in, Jonah, they literally grabbed the Jews by the Old Testament. <laughs> <laughs> they say Jonah could not have been swallowed by a whale, the New Testament scholars say because whales have tiny gullets and cannot swallow whole prophets. <laughs> Therefore, they offer their own theory that Jonah was in fact swallowed by a gigantic guppy. <laughs> and to this day, the New Testament doesn't sell. <laughs> in closing, I'd like to remind you to, yes, let's get the Christ back into Christmas and the Chor back into Hanukkah. 